Ladies and gentlemen, your reaction. This is why France is the strongest nation on earth. Victoria 2 by the channel I Saw Production. Yes, another ISP video. Victoria 2 at that. I'm finding Victoria 2 videos from ISP is better than anyone so far. But then again, I don't think I think I only watched one broken one video of Victoria 2. So I don't know. But yeah. Uh, Victoria 2 is just fucking awesome uh, game all around. It, to me, it's just, you know, Victorian time, Hearts of Iron 4. Yeah, that's uh, obviously uh, veterans of the Hearts of Iron 4 might disagree, but to me, it kind of feels the same. It's from the same developer, whatever. So, yeah, obviously, France is the strongest nation in Victorian times. I guess it, that's recent timeline from, uh, I guess, what happened to Napoleon, right? So it kind of makes sense. Like, if in your rear view mirror, if you can see Napoleon, and if this is very recent time, yeah, it probably makes sense. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Remember, we'll reflect like Do Don't forget to subscribe so I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the Brickson update, there's a link in the description. There is a link to the playlist too, with all my Hearts of Iron 4 reactions. Big Turtle, to Hearts of Iron 4, uh, Crusader Kings 3, things like that. So basically, this developer, you know, reactions. And yeah, let's do this one. So a Victoria game usually takes like five, maybe seven hours. So I've got to do five, seven hours of not making fun of the French. I think I might actually die. Just kidding. I love France. It's just a shame it's full of French people. I'm trying to make a video on every great power at the start of the game. So we've done. I love the France, but it's it's same. This full of. I guess is ISP British because that is the most British things I have, I have ever heard. I'm pretty sure there are lots of British people in the past who has uttered that sentence. Are the fun ones, but now comes France, Austria, the Ottomans. Oh well, at least as France, I have some great allies. Ally, just the Pope. Ah, oh, well, it seems we've actually gotten over that whole, you know, Napoleon thing. You see, Algerians, you'd be much better off if you just accepted the fact. Don't that want to pause too much, but if you go to Wiki page on how many conflicts that has been between France and England. That are ridiculously too much in just past millennia. So it's not surprising that Britain just got over with the whole Napoleon thing. This is an old news, right? We do that every time, right? Somebody's gonna fight each other and I guess we'll just shake hands. You're French now, okay? Just, just take a deep breath, eat a baguette and shove the snail in your mouth. I have no idea why the Algerians have wanted to break free from French colonial rule. Yeah, you see, from what I've got planned, we're gonna have to go ahead and build this Maginot line just a few years earlier. Oh, mon ami. <laughs> you see, it's probably best we just take out that whole Prussia thing before it really takes off. And thankfully, uh, I got quite a few allies ready to help me. Oh shit, Napoleon. Oh wait, no, no mind. It's just the other Napoleon. The one with oh, the yeah. stupid mustache. Uh, speaking of stupid looking things, uh, these borders, <laughs> they're definitely a lot more interesting now. Oh, uh, what did he do? You went across the Alps in a hot air balloon. Congrats. I managed to take, you know, the Rhineland from Prussia and I fixed Anglo French relations. For oh, God, now they want to. Oh, why did we fix these relations? You know, I really thought we were a bit done with these revolutions, but apparently. Nah. Nah, it's Still French. Still just wanna shoot each other. It's oh, very okay, French well, thing. for Louis Napoleon Bonaparte as our president, I'm sure there won't be any sort of political kerfuffery going on here, especially since he did already try to coup us, like, I don't know, a couple years ago. So we had a bit of a German revolt over here in the Rhineland, but the real mystery is, um, how exactly we had a German revolt pop up over here, led by somebody with the last name, Pertain. <laughs> I see it runs in the family. Well, you know what yeah. they say when the economy's <laughs> not looking gentleman. too good. Just go ahead and steal China's money. Oh, apparently the Russians are bored of this green color and want to try out something a bit more fruity. See, I really enjoyed that trip to Berlin the first time around, and I think I'm going to go ahead and make this sort of like a yearly tradition. So the whole point is just to keep Germany at bay because uh, Germany can easily stomp me if Germany has all of Germany. So if I have more of Germany than Germany does, they can never stomp me. Ah, oh, so apparently <laughs> Sardinia Piedemont. Oh God, I love this channel. I love this channel so much. I'm not going to lie. That is what Otto von Bismarck thought. That... All of the Germany is going to be really powerful, so I have to make sure that all of the Germany is the Germany now, right? And I bet all their opposition is like, I have to make sure that all of the Germany is not part of the Germany. So if I can stop all of the Germany becoming Germany, then there will be no problem. <laughs> Clearly that didn't work because Otto von Bismarck had other plans. <laughs> ...has had enough of the Piedmont part of Sardinia and they've decided, huh, 
See you around, Pidamon. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen this happen in a Victoria 2 game. They, they actually created new nations. We got Sardinia, and now we have Savoy instead of Sardinia Pidamon. So, uh... I don't imagine this is going to change much, actually. At least pretty damn useless. So me taking more of the west side of Germany is sending the Prussians eastwards by the looks of it. Oh, it's always got to be the damn Swiss. Yeah. Why can't you just be normal? Yeah, Savoy called me into a war to take out Sardinia, and uh, it, they couldn't even land it. I think Swiss are more normal than anyone, right? Everybody was just squabbling and killing each other. While Swiss are like, I have traps everywhere. If you come here, we'll just run into the bunker and basically booby trap you. And we're not going to align with anyone. I guess they were the most sane of them all, to be honest. Yeah, so but once again, the statement that the Italians are useless has just been reiterated. Oh, jeez, who would have thought we shouldn't have trusted a man with, a mustache. with this mustache? <laughs> See, it's just French tradition to flip-flop between a monarchy and republic as many as many times as possible. Oh damn, that kingdom's quite heavenly. So Prussia declared war on me trying to get uh, some of their land back, but if you can't tell, it's not going too well considering Sweden's now added reparations back for them. Oh yeah, Prussia's definitely not looking too good considering Denmark is sieging them out. This is just the game <laughs> of divorces. First we had Sardinia Piedmont, now Schleswig and Holstein have also broken up. Oh, this is so sad. This is the worst Chinese civil war I've ever seen. The Chinese have seven divisions and the heavenly kingdom have zero. Oh my god. Oh, Schleswig. There's not much of my war at that point. friend. So Piedmont called me into a war with Austria to free some land off them, and they're not even in the war themselves. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's not good. In the German land we occupy, uh, yeah, got a bit of a terrorist problem. You know, even though Prussia managed to annex some of this North German land, I think it's safe to say they're definitely broken. Uh... But to be fair, we could break them more. Yeah, it's definitely a sad state of affairs when this little breakaway state from China actually has way more troops than actual China does and is taking land off of them. Wait, why the hell did Sardinia <laughs> Piedmont get the option to liberate the Balkans? Who left it up to them? I always built the Eiffel Tower. The original Minecraft. Oh, there you go. The big tower's complete. <laughs> come oh, come on down Minecraft. and stand next to it. Oh, the Limburg crisis. So Germany wants to go ahead and take Limburg off the Netherlands, but uh, come come ahead and get it. I, I mean, what, what are you going to do, Germany? Oh, French Indochina. Many and I can believe we should press influence in Indochina, expanding our colony there to include some of the less civilized neighbors. Oh, sure, I'll take more land in Indochina. Exactly where, what country have you taken? Tukula Empire, huh? Ah! That's a... Uh... That's not in Indochina! Wait, I think Belgium would be a very good mediator for the con- Wait a minute. <laughs> That's Indochina apparently? Okay. Congo, I can't- I cannot think of a single thing that would go wrong with this. Yeah, even if you break away from China, apparently the problems still persist. You know, I was about to say I'm actually impressed by how much the Italians have actually managed to do over here in Ethiopia, but then I- I realized the rebel stacks. The scramble for Africa actually went pretty well this time around, I, I, if I do have to say. It doesn't look too bad until you come down to here, then it looks pretty damn bad. So at some point, the Italians apparently took a bit of India. Um, it's got a look, it's got a bunch of fish there and it's a mountain problem. A bit of India. Yeah, this is not India. This is Pakistan, I guess. I mean, yeah, at the time, but yeah, okay. But still. Um, it's got a look, it's got a bunch of fish there and it's a mountain province, so you can understand why they thought that'd be a high priority. Yeah, Italian East Africa. Not really. I mean, Italian and mountains. I mean, you can see what they were going for, right? Hmm, another, let's make another, uh, you know, great track where we can drive our Ferraris, basically. <laughs> An easy time staying together. But hey, at least we got Kafafa. Right, time for the annual slap Germany about. Every time I look back over here, it's just getting five times worse. Um, that's a very interesting flag you have there, Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, imagine the film Titanic, but everyone's French. It's when you actually start rooting for the iceberg. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the most interesting part about this Great War is I don't even remember the first one. I, I don't... I don't remember there being a first one. As you can see, the Italians are really trying their hardest to help out in this Great War by sending nobody. There, there is nobody here, just a flag. Because all the uh, most important great powers are currently fighting the Great War, only Denmark is here in this crisis against Russia. <laughs> Denmark trying to free Poland. <laughs> 
Oh god, the world's really gonna look. <laughs> it's like, you know, one of those people in basically school. But there's a really cool group of many people there. And there is just some small sad group who's just doing that thing and just look over there. Oh, what are they doing there? So that's great what happening and this is some weird crisis over here. Look disgusting <laughs> after this one, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna have to do it. I'm sorry. Oh god. <laughs> it wouldn't look that bad if we had like the, the better looks, but geez, this looks ugly. Oh, and we also found a city on a rock somewhere in the midst of all that like millions yeah, of people incas. dying. Isn't, isn't that great? Hold on, sorry. Uh, scientists and engineers in the United States of America report to have invented political lobbying. It took you a scientist and an engineer to figure out what No, no, bad, bad engine, what the fuck? What scientists? Political lobbying, really? That's what scientists and engineers are doing right now. Scientists and engineers, top of the class, PhDs and everything. Just invented political lobbying. I highly doubt that. Political lobbying. It took you a scientist and an engineer to figure out what political lo this is the dawn of a new age! I didn't think yeah, it. if if scientists knew how to politically lobby, right, NASA's budget wouldn't be so shit. Could get any worse over here. But it just keeps getting worse, Italy. What have you done? How? How have you managed to do any of this? And you've got militant socialists here. Oh my. I honestly completely forgot the British even existed, and this has given me the perfect opportunity to start another world war. Yeah, I wish there was a better way for me to invade uh, England all the time, but there's really not. So the Italians have managed to do a full-scale invasion of Egypt, but they couldn't manage to take back their own colony. What the hell? War's not over yet, but I have managed to peace out Belgium for Wallonia, and um, it doesn't fix the borders. They still look really bad. And the Russians got military access through Germany, and they just keep sending over peasant stacks to try and take me out. And um, <laughs> even the Italians are managing to beat them. That's how bad they are. They yeah, probably <laughs> shouldn't be taking pages out of the Italian school of warfare. That's when you know you've messed up Russia. Ah, uh, you guys know how an invasion of Britain pans out. But uh, this time, there's going to be a lot more land taken. Where have all the Russians gone? Been very suspiciously quiet around here. Oh, wait a sec. No, they're just all taking over early. There's also a single brigade of New Zealand cavalry here, led by Brian Denman. Yeah, sorry about this, Brian. I think this might be a little bit overkill for you. So if you're ever too lazy to just go around and delete all your old fleets of, like, ironclads and carracks and stuff, just send them in with your big navy to fight the British. Worst case scenario, you know, you lose them all and they're, they're not really, you're not paying for them anymore. But best case scenario, uh, you sink a British dreadnought with a carrack. I mean, it, it's, it might be possible, I don't know. You know, just uh, Victoria's two things. <laughs> that would be a victory right there, right? Like, British, like, yeah, Britain won, but what at what cost? Right? At what humiliation? <laughs> when 111,000 German fascists rise up in this one province owned by Germany, but they can't get... You know, I'd say this is the perfect Britain right now, but uh, it's actually about to get a lot worse. Well, I've created the worst thing in the entire world. Yeah, I just gotta quickly release a couple more nations to lower my infamy for her. One more throwaway war before we end this. Uh, sure, just get rid of you. We'll get rid of... <gasps> I can release. Oh, I can actually release whales. Sure, why not? Whales. And uh, second thought, so I was gonna do another war of Germany, but I just realised I'm gonna have to spend more in for me taking all these British colonies. So never mind. Maybe another time, guys. Oh, that didn't take very long, now did it, Chechnya? Well, that's probably where we're gonna leave it for today. I actually played this game over the course of like two, three days, so um, yeah, it took a very long time. Victoria 2 games are way longer than Hearts of Iron 4, and then trying to edit down all the stuff I say into like a 10 minute I mean, video. It's slow paced. It, it also takes a long time, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I hope you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and go ahead and suggest me another nation you wanna play in Victoria 2 or another game. All I mean, in the end, Victoria is going to be kind of slow paced compared to the World War II of Hearts of Iron 4. It's very like, you know, shit is happening all the time. But yeah. Right, well, that was why France is the strongest nation on Earth. Because, uh, yeah, let's be honest, at the time it kind of, you know, was powerful enough. And obviously, with all the shit is happening, <laughs> they're trying to take over Britain, right? Like Norman 2.0 or something like that. But why the fuck not? Well, people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the playlist in the description with things like this. And yeah, I'll see you next time.